When I first started looking at the business, I found that it was a business that was comprised of smaller footprints, a limited number of options for customers in terms of number of machines, size of machines, number and size of dryers, and there was virtually no amenities. I saw an opportunity to have larger footprint stores, 4,000 square feet and over, offering many more options in terms of size of machines, number of machines, and dryers, and also giving customers amenities that would almost make them feel that a trip to the laundromat would be something that would be a pleasurable experience. I have some simple amenities like offering flat screen TVs, uh, arcade games, seats. <laughs> Interestingly enough, a lot of these laundromats didn't even have places for customers to sit. But we also have Wi-Fi, which is one of the most popular things that I constantly get asked for. And when I read my reviews, people are extremely happy to have fast and reliable Wi-Fi service. Part of my original vision was not to have coin stores. The truth of the matter is, I wouldn't even be in this business if Laundry Card wasn't available. Coming out of corporate life, I had no intention of spending my time collecting quarters. Aside from the fact that we no longer are limited to that, and everybody's simply putting dollars, and most importantly, credit cards, to add value to their laundry cards. I also am able to get management information, which I use to make decisions on a real-time basis. I'm also able to see how and when my customers are using my equipment so I can better adapt to them. I can find out when my equipment is out of order and then make arrangements to have repairs done promptly and quickly. I also believe it's allowed me to grow quicker, expand my business, and give me a lot more time to manage my business in so many other ways and be, spend more, so much more time with my customers when I'm actually in the store. When I first was looking at this business, I felt it was limiting by having a, a business that was based upon quarters. It didn't allow the opportunities which Laundry Card has allowed me to use, which is be able to offer marketing and promotional opportunities to my customers. These include big dollar bonuses, wash to win, time of day pricing, special pricing to, to include additional services and functions. All of this allowed me to make this more of a retail business rather than simply a service business. When a customer puts $20 on the machine at the same time, they get a $2 bonus. Or as we like to say, it's like getting an immediate 10% discount. Customers love it. In fact, 25% of my customers take advantage of the big dollar bonus. We are also able to offer our customer a loyalty incentive program. This is in the wash to win campaign that the laundry card system allows me to use. This loyalty incentive program is extremely popular and when they win it, they put their card into the exchanges and a big screen pops up telling them that they're a winner. And everybody likes to be a winner. A lot of people come in and ask, like, what's my return on investment? And there's so many different ways to measure that. Is part of your return on investment how much easier your customer lives are, how much easier your life is? But on a purely financial base, the return on investment actually is extremely good. First, you have the ability to now do incremental pricing. This is extremely important in today's uh, environment where we have utility costs that seem to be going up every three months. Either it's going to be electric going up, water, or gas. You now have the ability to raise your price by one penny with a flick of a computer screen. You now are able to have different pricing structures. So you can have both time of day pricing to both be attractive and also on the other hand, everybody talks about lowering your prices, but you can actually be raising your prices during your most competitive uh, period of time. By definition, you're always going to have float in this business. And that is the difference between the customers who place money on the card and how much they use on their laundry card to actually start washers and dryers. I would have to say that in my Santa Clarita store, the float alone has paid for the entire laundry card system. In the years that I've been using laundry card in all of my stores, I have found the customer experience to be an extremely positive one. There's not a week that goes by when I don't have customers coming to thank me that they no longer have to tote around tons of quarters, especially when you have machines that could require as many as 70 quarters. Over 50% of my customer transactions are credit card transactions. And I find that a pleasure for both them and for me. And when you do become a multi-store owner, you have to start giving great consideration to how you're gonna operate, su supervise, and maintain your business. Laundry Card has added the functionality that allows you to control every setting on your washer and dryer right from your laptop or your iPad. So in two minutes, you have programmed your entire store from the time that they helped me in designing and installing and implementing my first system and teaching me how to use it, 
to my current experiences with all of their customer representatives over the phone, who each is a technician who has more patience than I could ever imagine, and certainly more patience than me. If I was not able to offer my customers the marketing, promotional, and functionality that Laundry Card offers, I do not think that in any way whatsoever I would have been able to realize my vision.